Yo, 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 boys, this renegade raider right here standing in front of you just told me if you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel in the next 6.9 seconds, you're going to have good luck in all of 2021 and you're going to get surprised with a 5,000 V-Buck gift card. I'm not joking. Look at my V-Bucks. So what are you guys waiting for? Just leave a like on the video. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sci-Fi here coming at you guys today with a brand new Fortnite video. And if you guys watched the last video, you guys know that Angel almost broke up with me because of the fake screenshots sent to her from her ex-boyfriend pretending to be me that video was insanely crazy and if you guys want to go watch that you guys can but in today's video i was just sitting at home playing fortnite as i do and i noticed that he was sitting outside of my house yet again i'm not sure what this dude's deal is but i decided to go out there again to you know de-escalate the situation kind of tell him that she didn't want any part of him and i don't want him sitting around my house just watching me all day because it's extremely weird well i go out there and things escalate rather quickly this time instead of him just sitting there listening to me talk he gets out as soon as he notices that i'm outside and he's all up in my face he's pushing and shoving me again yelling at me and everything and i was still just staying calm trying to get him to leave and then all of a sudden the cops pulled up and the reason the cops pulled up is actually going to shock you but i don't want to spoil any of that for you guys make sure you guys watch all the way to the end of this video leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and enjoy the rest of this video Hello. It was good. Hi. How's everyone doing? Pretty good. I'm tired today. You know, honestly, Angel, I feel that. And I'm tired of people's crap today. But I got some more stuff to tell you, Angel, about your ex. Are you serious? What is he doing now? Can this guy just like stop already? Dude's done enough. Yeah, I don't think he I don't think he can stop. Honestly, I wish he could, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be happening anytime soon. Well, I, I guess maybe it could be. I, I don't know. He he might be done for like good after today but he also might just get even more mad after what happened what do you mean well i didn't actually end up doing like anything at all it was kind of all just like my neighbor that did it today and honestly my neighbor kind of dealt with the situation for us wait what wait i'm confused what what happened well you see today i was just sitting here playing fortnite dealing with my garbage internet turning on and off all morning and i looked outside and i noticed that dude was sitting across the street yet again just watching my house just watching me do my daily activities i guess so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go out there and talk to him today so i decided to go out there and have another chat with dude after i walked out there i was like yo are you good do you mind like leaving do you mind just not being around here anymore because it's like freaking everybody out and nobody wants you here especially me angel doesn't like you just get out of here and last time i mentioned to you he actually got really mad so i kind of assumed that was gonna happen again today but like as soon as i walked outside he got out of his car and i'm like wait why are you getting out of your car already i didn't even talk to you so i could tell this dude wanted nothing but problems today to be honest with you i i wasn't having it like i was not dealing with this dude today so i went out there trying to talk to him he's all up in my face yelling and screaming and he's pushing me again but instead of you know actually wanting to fight back and you know hurt this dude i was just keeping my cool i was just sitting there like chilling and talking to dude and he was just yelling i was like calm down we can you know talk this out i don't know what you want i'll give you what you want i guess like unless it's angel because like that's her choice and uh i think her mind is made up she doesn't want you literally at all and we're sitting there just arguing back and forth this dude's yelling and i could tell that like my neighbors were seeing what was going on and everything but i didn't think they were doing much about it until i was you know just kind of shocked when the cops pulled up wait your neighbor called the cop i i I guess so because I was confused. I didn't call the cops. Uh, I don't think my roommate called the cops and I don't imagine he would call the cops on himself. So it had to have been one of my neighbors that actually called the cops on this dude. And then like what happened after that was nutty. What did the cops do? Well, when they get there, I was like trying to de-escalate the situation again. And when he saw the cops, he was just even more mad. But the cops kind of like pulled him away from me and was like, yo, okay, you just need to calm down what the heck's going on here and they pulled me aside and they were just like asking me a bunch of stuff like what is this situation going on your neighbor said something about like this dude sitting outside of your house multiple times now and both times it led to an argument so i kind of just explained the entire situation like you know this dude was stalking my girlfriend because it's like her ex-boyfriend and everything and he didn't like me and he was just sitting outside of my house always trying to start stuff always trying to fight with me and i guess
guess my neighbors kind of backed up that same exact story so when we went over to talk to him cops were like i don't know they weren't very nice to him they were just kind of like yo you need to stop doing all this stuff he was trying to like get away from the cops and stuff and i was like okay this is not going to end well at all i don't want to be caught up in all of this because i didn't literally do anything besides try to get this dude away from my house and they ended up just putting him in cuffs and i was like maybe they're doing that to you know calm him down so he stops flailing his arms around but then they put him in the back of the cop car wait what yeah they literally put this dude in the back of the cop car and i was like okay what's going on now like i was talking to the officers i was like is he going to jail are you guys just like getting him away from the house like what are you guys doing and they asked if i wanted to press charges on him for like i guess assault i guess because he actually put his hands on me and stuff and i wasn't trying to get that deep with it i was just like i'm just trying to like you know have him not come around me or my girlfriend anymore so they were bringing up all these options about like i don't know like a restraining order and stuff like that and i was like does he really need to go to jail for this like at the end of the day he just needs like mental help in my personal opinion but yeah they just they took him off so i don't know if he's going to jail or what dude that's crazy what like the cops came and actually arrested this guy yeah all because my neighbors decided to call them and was like yo this dude's been outside of his house for like multiple days now and i can tell he's not having it because they're in the street arguing yet again like we were like two days ago dude, that's that's pretty crazy i mean your neighbor loki came in clutch you know i was thinking the same exact thing but like angel you're not mad that this dude like got put away and everything like i know you don't like him and you didn't want to deal with him anymore but like you're not upset that he could possibly be going to jail are you no no like so he's out of the picture for like good uh for what it looks like right now yeah it looks like he's just gone for good and like there's no one gonna be like coming in between our relationship again unless you know your crazy family catches up with you and then they realize that we're back together but let's just you know cross our fingers that that's not happening but yeah apparently this dude is just like gone for good because i have to go down to the station and get like this restraining order and everything now and i imagine they'll call you and ask you to do the same thing <sighs> thank god that's what i'm saying and i'm just i'm stoked this guy's gone to be honest it was crazy today like as soon as i walked outside this guy was literally trying to fight me like immediately neighbors came in clutch they called the cops the cops came they dealt with everything i actually talked to my neighbor after the whole situation and they asked me what was going on with him and i basically told them the same thing i told the cops that he was just like a jealous ex-boyfriend that was you know trying to hurt the new boyfriend or trying to do whatever i guess but yeah they they came in clutch and i don't even know how to thank these dudes because they just dealt with like the biggest problem i have so far <laughs> well i mean in a way it, it's really good that happened but at the same time it shouldn't have happened to begin with yeah i definitely get that it probably shouldn't have happened but dude is kind of crazy so what did we really expect i mean i didn't even know about this guy until he started hanging around my house and you kind of explained him to me you know at least it's done and over with now like maybe it's good that it happened maybe my neighbors are now like gonna keep a lookout for more crazy people and they can deal with them for me because like i think the cops are tired of me calling them and telling them that crazy stuff's going on outside of my house yeah 